The dramatic achievements in space which occurred in recent weeks should have made clear to us all, as did the Sputnik in 1957, the impact of this adventure on the minds of men everywhere who are attempting to make a determination of which road they should take.
think every citizen of this country, as well as the members of the Congress, should consider the matter carefully. Every scientist, every engineer, every serviceman, every technician, contractor, and civil servant gives his personal pledge that this nation will move forward with the full speed of freedom in the exciting adventure of space. We go into space because whatever mankind must undertake, free men must fully share. This little gem was discovered and brought to the attention of moon researchers all over the world by Joseph P. Skipper on May 28, 2004. I decided to hire an imaging forensics expert to take this photo and to try and remove the blurring to reveal what is underneath. Jim Horrocks, an imaging forensics expert who has worked with the Los Angeles Police Department, was sent this photo and his findings were written in a report he submitted to the production. First of all, the astounding measurements he made reveal an object that is ten times the size of Los Angeles. Ten times the size. This in itself is an incredible detail about the size of this object. By using Adobe Photoshop and some of the filters available within the program, we were able to see more of the details that were lost due to the blurring applied by whoever did this for NASA and the Clementine Mission Archives. This enormous object seems to be some form of a machine or possibly a spacecraft. In all the enhancements made independently, it appears there may have been what appears to be a giant humanoid wearing a jumpsuit and possibly working on the front portion of this contraption. This may or may not be a giant humanoid. Perhaps the shadows seem to reflect something of a human form. We will never know until NASA releases this photograph unblurred and with the clarity available for us to see. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA launched a missile, a two-ton bomb, to be exploded on the moon's surface October 9, 2009. Scientists expect the impact to be so powerful that a huge plume of debris will be visible from Earth. This is in violation of the International Space Treaty. The idea of any explosion in space by any Earth government was not acceptable to the extraterrestrials, and that has been demonstrated over and over.